even though I'm making tempeh, no, this is not breakfast. We are starting off with lunch or brunch. I'm sure it's lunch because it's probably like three in the afternoon. We know how I do. First meal of the day is very late. I drink lots of water in the morning and I don't get hungry. However, that has changed a little bit. We'll talk about that later though. So this is my go-to meal when I don't really feel like cooking anything. And you guys have seen me make this before. It's basically a deconstructed rice ball. So I'm just gonna throw it in a bowl, which means the seaweed gets cut up, shredded, sprinkled on top and I squirt my sriracha mayo. I don't even mix it. In fact, I just kind of take a scoop that incorporates everything as I go. Love it. Is this breakfast? Okay, yeah, so this is breakfast. Again, guys, just like last week, this isn't really a what I eat in a week. It's just like, what have I been eating over the last couple of weeks? So really like a month's worth of footage just dragged out over several days because I didn't film every day. So we're making a smoothie. But if you guys follow me on Instagram, you also saw me opening up a egg fruit because my boyfriend ordered an entire box. Well, at the time he was my boyfriend. He's my fiance now after eating it the first time i'm not gonna lie i was like i don't know if i would buy this again but i'm like it's got potential because it is good so i threw it in this smoothie with some dates sea moss gel and a little bit of vanilla extract and it was so good like so good that i ordered more yeah he bought the first box but i bought the second that's like eight or nine pounds of just egg fruit cannot wait in fact, that was so good that I made another one the next day for breakfast. But this time I was like, this has got to go into a carrot cake smoothie. So if you guys have been watching these videos for a while, you already know that recipe. Super simple. And yeah, would highly recommend. Back around the holidays, I was thinking of taking this fruit and making a eggnog. December or not, we definitely need to share that with the world. Because I will gladly drink eggnog in February. They're not super moist because the texture is just, you know, like flaky and dry. I'm not gonna say exactly, but very, very close to a hard boiled egg. So in a smoothie, oh, it just works. Then for dinner, on an entirely different day, I had some leftover curry and you guys have seen me make this, I feel like a couple of times, it's at least twice on this channel, like the original, I even made a green version. So I will link those down in the description box. It's just one of my favorite things to eat when it's cold outside and I love to squeeze a lot, and I do mean a lot, a fresh lime juice on it. And the next day, again, not breakfast. In fact, this might've been dinner. Found these in my fridge. I had some breakfast sausages in the freezer. Y'all know me, I love to put jam on breakfast sandwiches. And normally I'd probably use, you know, grape jam, but as you may know, I made the quince jam recently. So I just was like, why not? And because we haven't tried that combination before, obviously we couldn't just fully commit and put it on both sandwiches. I only put it on one. Excellent both ways. Wish I could have it right now. Like we got a wedding dress to buy, so there's that. We weren't beyond making these cookies and cream milkshakes because I could not stop buying these fudgement cookies. Y'all know how I feel about mint chocolate chip. And like I always say, the processed foods should be eaten in moderation. So I, I tend to eat meat and dairy substitutes when I just have like a craving that I cannot shake. This dish I actually shared with you guys on uh, Instagram, but I'm not actually gonna show you the recipe yet because it's going to be in, I'm doing a part two of the food scraps video. So just take a little mental note of that and I will put it at the end of this video when it goes live. So it'll be in the outro and I'm also gonna link it in the description box. Not sure exactly when it's gonna be, but if you subscribe, you won't miss it. So just do that now and turn on your notifications. I can deal with a smoothie because I can just like quickly slurp it down a straw, but a smoothie bowl for some reason, it's just like a pro, it takes me quite a long time to eat those bowls, at least, at least 30 minutes. Got a little berry blend, cherries, strawberries, blueberries, and keeping it simple, just almond milk, dates. Of course, I'm adding some sea moss and optionally, you can add the hemp seeds, just know that they're gonna change the overall flavor. And I believe this day, I also did some juicing. So these are dandelion greens. If you've ever attempted to make these, they are so bitter. I've never tried to cook them because I've always juiced them. But what I love about these is that when you do juice them, do you see how dark and richly pigmented this is? It has a ton of chlorophyll. So instead of buying chlorophyll like drops, just have this. Yes, it's still gonna taste extremely bitter, but I just added to something that's sweet and problem solved. What I did is I actually froze this and then the night before I know I'm going to consume it, I put it in the refrigerator so it can defrost overnight. Cause you wanna be eating your food at peak freshness. The reality is, is that we don't usually get it at that point because it goes through transit. And ultimately I added this to some pineapple jalapeno juice. I also like it with orange juice.
also from the last video you guys might remember the pumfu or was that the video before i don't know this is tofu but made out of pumpkin seeds someone asked me why this was blue and i could see how you got there it's pretty close to like a robin egg blue in person it's like a really pale green so just kind of a mix of probably pigmented green on the outside of the seed but blended with the white inside And this I sauteed with the um, mojo verde that I made in a previous video. I also was roasting some bell peppers and after taking them out of the oven, I just kind of let them sweat a little bit so that I could easily pull off the skin. So I discarded the charred pieces, but the rest of the skin, I just ate it and I put the fruit into some Tupperware to save for a later recipe. Optionally, I also threw in some oregano just because I didn't roast them with any seasonings for some reason. And what you could do is completely douse this in oil. It will actually keep in your refrigerator for quite a while. So I popped that in the fridge and now I'm making a salad because I don't have like any rice or anything to actually put my protein on top of, but that's okay because when's the last time you guys saw me make a salad? because that definitely wasn't gonna fill me up. I also had a baked purple sweet potato. Not my finest plate, but you know what? That's all I had at my refrigerator at the time I needed to go grocery shopping at this point. So after I finally got some food, I don't think I even really felt like making anything to eat. So a garden salad seemed like I had just enough energy to put in this kind of effort and, and that was it. And for salad dressing, this is again a recipe I've made before. This is just like my Italian vinaigrette, oil, balsamic, Dijon mustard, all the things. Again, I will link that video and recipe down below. And I blended that together with everyone's favorite tiny whisk, Goldie. That's, I just gave them a name just now. And this is a smaller salad than I would normally eat, but again, we we did not have the energy. So to add a little bit more nutritional value, I'm also adding hemp seeds and some nutritional yeast. And then finally, I used the roasted bell peppers. Just quickly seasoned that with salt and pepper. Then I minced some shallot and garlic and got that sauteing in a pan. Gave that a quick mix because remember we've already roasted the peppers so they're cooked. If you want to, you could blend some raw peppers and then give that a little bit more time to cook through before you add your milk or cream. And here I'm using almond milk, but you could use any plant-based milk that you want to. So cashew milk would be excellent as you guys have seen me use in previous videos because it has more fat so it's really rich but i don't really need to like thicken this because the bell peppers are like doing enough so all i have to do is add my pasta and this is the one time i forgot to actually reserve some of my starch water to incorporate in the sauce and in this case it really doesn't matter it's still married with the noodles perfectly when i say i licked the plate after eating this my boyfriend I go again my fiance was looking at me like good huh no shame this was amazing like god if you don't want me to lose weight just say that i'm really upset i can't just eat pasta every day so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up it really lets me know what you want to see helps the channel we're all happy if you're not already subscribe so that you don't miss the food scraps video and i'll see you in the next one bye